get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life Welcome! Hey y'all! How you doing? So we are here at Eden Rock where we're doing a little bit of a staycation and we're making good use of our time because we're actually waiting for management to get here. Mm. But in the meantime, Simply Loving with Shay and Matt, they tagged us on the 40 Questions Challenge. And you all probably seen it. It's been going around. Everybody's been kind of doing it. And it's um, 40 questions here. And we're going to go in and we're going to answer. And we're going to try to answer as quickly as possible. But sometimes we be having stories. So let's see what happens. Okay. Question number one. Do you like blue cheese? Well, I like blue cheese. Do you, blue cheese. It don't matter. Do we, do I you like, like blue cheese? Yes. Yes. Me too. Yes. Two. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke it is. I used to be a Pepsi girl, but now I am Coke. In a relationship? Yes, I am. Number four. Whiskey, tequila, or vodka? Oh. Whiskey. Whiskey? Wow. I know yours is vodka. Yeah, I think I'm a, because my mixed drinks usually take vodka, right? Yeah, she got those dirty drinks. Yeah, so vodka. Hot dog or cheeseburger? Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. <laughs> Number six, favorite food? Favorite food. Beans rice, and rice, beans, a steak. I'm going to say my favorite food is seafood. Mukbang. Yeah, I guess seafood. Mukbang. Yeah. Well, what is it? Yeah. Um, what do you think in the morning? What, no, what do you drink in the morning? Coffee. It's water. Yes. I, I, tea. Mostly tea. And tea. Hot tea. Yeah, I'm more, I'm a, I'm, I think I do more hot teas. I thought there was like a question of me, like, oh, guess, No, I'm just saying that deep. Question. We ain't making it that deep. Okay. Yeah. Because a lot of people do this by themselves. Like, oh. single. Oh. Like, not even a two-person thing. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm more hot teas and I also adore coffees, but I'm also trying to um, just do better with getting in more water. So whenever I drink, I'm trying to do more water. That's what I'm doing now. Um, can you do 100 push-ups? In sets? Yes. In one shot? No. <laughs> and I'm going to answer this honestly, y'all. And we talking about real, for real, military push-ups, not on your knees. Back when I was in the military and I used to be able to max out my push-ups, maxing out push-ups was still about 40 push-ups in two minutes. But even in two minutes doing 40, you would start to shake and reach muscle failure. So I'm going to say it's very hard to do 100 push-ups. I don't care how in shape you nah, are. Yeah. For a girl, for yeah, one The most I ever did was um, 50. In one setting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, favorite season, number nine. Summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. summertime. Well, in New York, I think my best season in Miami is um, wintertime. Fall, winter. And that's because it don't get cold. Yeah, because and it doesn't rain as much. I don't really like summertime in Miami because it rains a lot and it's still raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I generally like summertime. But you're right. I think I can also go with a strong fall before it gets cold. The weather can be nice and moderate. You don't have to put on coats or, you know, I can get with that, especially here in Miami. Miami, summertimes are intense. It's hot. I feel like we can walk longer. We have a more of a window of being outside in the fall. So I don't know. I'm new to this Miami life. Favorite hobby? I know yours. YouTube. That's your <laughs> hobby. <laughs> My hobbies be My going. My favorite hobby is to make her happy. Baby, what's your favorite hobby? Instagram. Creating. Creating. And I was saying... My favorite, my favorite hobby is learning. Like learning like technical stuff and hands-on stuff. And always wanted, I always want to fix something, you know? And mine used to also be snowboarding. No, yours is YouTube, baby. That's a hobby. I know. It's you not a job. Hear. I know you say it's your job. It's no, I it's said it's hobby. my business. <laughs> I said it's a business. Yeah, okay. It's your business. I make money off of YouTube. What are you talking about? Yes, but it's more more of a hobby now than money. Okay. So you're Shoot it. <laughs> what? Because what? 
I don't make that much money. He's over here growing low key shade. Y'all subscribe to us. Subscribe, thumbs up, leave Don't a comment below. To to help me turn this hobby into a business. Yeah, share this video. So yeah, yeah, a lot of share, share. So share, share, you share, share, share the wealth. Number eleven <laughs> tattoos. I don't have any. I don't. I have a he got partial a little, one. He got a prison tattoo. I love tattoos. Show them your prison tattoo. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't know what that is either, guys. Baby, what is that little... What is, what is, yeah, we don't know what it's that is. It's a whole story on that one. It's a whole story. Maybe in the story time one day. Why Jay got prison well, tattoos. I wasn't in prison, though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear glasses? Yes. Oh. But I usually wear contacts. I don't know how I got such good eyesight. Number 13, phobias. Phobias. Uh... I think I have a phobia of heights. I didn't realize this until I climbed to the type of top of the Eiffel Tower. And when I got up top, I realized my body, I had to will my legs to move. Because my legs was like, girl, you in this tower is about to topple down. And it was like, oh my goodness. So I didn't even realize that. And I just don't like roller coasters. I don't have a phobia. I just don't like them. Um, she has a phobia. And obviously, guys, if y'all see my, my house is infested with bugs. Check out the eye in the sky. Obviously, I'm not a big fan of bugs in closed spaces either. Did you notice anything about me? As what, phobia? Yes. This is a trick question? No. Uh-uh. Okay. No, I just want to know because, you know, sometimes, you know, you've been around me for a while. So. Oh, so you don't know if you have a phobia. You yeah. want to know if I knew if I'm seeing one of your phobias? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, but this lighting is good. All right. <laughs> Number um, 14, nicknames. J-Dog. Well, obviously, J, Jerry. J-Hood. Jerry, that's a nickname, too. Um, and if mine, I used to have a nickname, Meek. N-I-Q-U-E, Meek. Okay. What's up, Meek? Favorite candy. Uh, Jolly Rancher. Nine Ladies. Oh, so he's a sweet candy. I think I'm more of a um, chocolatey, peanutty candy, like Snickers bar, Reese PC cup, that sort of thing. Nah, ladies. Oh, I like Swedish fish. That's one of my Warheads. favorites. Red and purple Swedish fish. Um, nah, I used to call those the poop candies. <laughs> no, <there you> go. <laughs> Number 16, do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Number 17, biggest downfall. That's a hard one. What do you mean biggest, biggest downfall? downfall? Oh, the biggest downfall you had? Yeah. Uh, biggest downfall. Oh, you got a lot. I didn't get the promotion that I wanted. They gave it to somebody else. At work? Not at this job. Oh. But other jobs. And I left. Oh, hmm. my biggest downfall. Mm, I don't have any. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Rain or snow? Rain. I'm going to go with rain because for the snow, it means it has to be cold. While I like snowboarding on snow, I don't like the cold weather. Piercings. Yeah, I had some piercings. Where? I had ear rain. I had tongue ring. You had a tongue ring. I had nipple ring. Nah, I didn't. You had a tongue ring, babe. Yeah. That's a whole story there. Did I notice? I never had it. I know. I don't I think way, I knew you had a tongue days. ring. See, that's why we do these questions, right? What you had a Get tongue to ring it. for? Uh, because I wanted a seven hundred dollar jacket. Oh, and the girlfriend. Oh, I told you. Yeah, yeah dared you or challenged you? Yeah, she said if I get a tongue ring, she'll buy me a seven hundred dollar jacket. I was probably around. Morning. And you got it. And did she get you the jacket? Yeah, I almost fainted, guys. I was like, I was on the sink, like. <laughs> <laughs> and you got your jacket. Yeah, though. seven hundred dollar jacket, was, leather jacket, Abrex. Was, was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. That's the jacket was dope. Oh my goodness! But well, how about the tongue ring? Was the tongue ring worth it? Was the tongue ring? It's all right. Well, I got used to it. How long I, did you keep it in? For a while. And you was talking with a list. 
and I think I think they started talking about bad things about tongue rings, like you know, gangrene and like, getting affected and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, and guys terrible. don't get tongue rings. It's always been girls. How many guys you I don't know with why. tongue rings? I don't know why for girls. Why they had tongue rings? What did you have? I think it was for, maybe for a female, for a female, but for a guy. You know. Oh, oh, that's what you used it for. You know what? <laughs> He wrong. He wrong. He is wrong. <laughs> we but that's what you used it for. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I used to have my nipples pierced. I used to have my belly button pierced. Why you got your nipples pierced? I don't know. Who inspired you? I was in the military. And that's what they like were doing. Good, no, it just seemed like a good thing to do, and I actually liked it. I like piercings, but my body rejects piercings. Uh huh. Like my body starts pushing them out and it don't heal fast. Like even when I got my ears pierced, like it took yeah, I had an ear. One like these didn't heal until I was like fourteen. Uh-huh. I like putting my little diamond ear in here. Yeah, so all right. Age. Thirty nine. Holding holding strong on the thirty. I'm holding strong. <laughs> Forty four. Woo for the hills, girl. <laughs> Good. That's why you eat. Look at this gorgeous skin. Look at this. After he over the hill. Look at this. Woo. I ain't got no makeup on, so I don't know how gorgeous this skin is. Ooh. Look at that natural. No foundation. French fries or onion rings? French fries. I'm, yeah, you tend to go with French I, fries. I eat more French more fries than anything. Than onion rings, but I do like onion rings. I do like, I love onions, especially when they're really big and they have the little onion But a lot sauce. of fast food places don't sell onion rings except for Burger King, which Burger King onion rings are way better than their French fries. Mm. Um, Kids. Yep, one and one. Girl, boy. Thir- she'll be 13, 27. Rent, wait. All right, number 23, favorite color? White on clothes. I'm going to go with a teal. I mean, like purple and teal. Those are usually the colors that you see in my thumbnails on fun and budget ads. Number 24, can you sing? Nope. No. Figaro. Number 25, can you whistle? Come on, baby, let's whistle. <laughs> and the only way I know how to whistle like this because I used to fly birds, pigeons, and I used to spook them so they could fly higher up to the sky. So good. He's so good. Prison tattoo, tongue ring, and now I'm flying pigeons. God, mother fly. fly in the sky if you want to see his flying pigeon story. Fly, fly, fly. Clearly, I can't whistle. Okay. Ooh, you hear that? How you doing that? Oh, you part of some voice. You put some vocal into it. No, I'm not. The management haven't come yet because they haven't lunch. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna ask them. Your lunch was, your lunch was good. Where were you I born? Number. Lunch. Where were you born? Number twenty six. Brooklyn. Providence, Rhode Island. New York. P town. So we both up east. We north. We the north. Northeast. Wait, where are we? We up north and east. Yeah. Okay, um, can you, wait, siblings, 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 number 27, siblings. Two sisters, different fathers, though. And I have three sisters, same father, though. So. I bet you you could ask my mom a question now, she probably debated. <laughs> All right, number 28, can you cook? Cook a little something, I think, right? I think I'll prove myself, right? Yeah, you can cook, baby. Can I cook? Oh, yeah. You can cook. I'm hit or miss. I'm not a meat person. Everything that you cooked for me was delicious. Yeah, but I'm not really in the meats. 
I can cook really good sides and things like that. But when it comes to like a chicken and a Deep steak and a pork something. chop, not my not my lane. Deep frying. No deep frying. <laughs> um Can you swim? Yes. yes. Are you religious? Spiritual. Yeah, spiritual. I'm spiritual. Yeah. 31, shower or bath? Shower. Shower. Big city or out in the nature? Big, Big city. city. <laughs> Number 33, are you a good friend? I'm yes. A, I'm a, the most perfect friend out here. Yes, I'm a good call friend. Call me at 4 in the morning. I'm picking you up. <laughs> Number 34, broken bones. Yes. Uh, I got shot and it went through my two bones in my wrist. So I got shot. Ghetto tattoo, tongue piercing, <laughs> flying pigeons, and he got shot. I'm done. <laughs> no, I never had any broken. Yeah, so bones. I had. Um, I got actually. I have a. Um, we should do that story time. Yeah, I have a. I have a metal bracket with um, screws in it. We'll do story time on that one day. Okay. How many TVs do you own? Two. And I own one, two, three. I have three. Right? What's your third one at? My bedroom, the living room, and then I have one in that guest bedroom. Number 36, worst pain ever. When you told me to not go on the plane, you wasn't going to pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> when you did not get on the plane, that was your worst pain, baby. No, I think my, yeah. wor my worst pain was my arm. My worst pain was my nipple. Yeah, because I was screaming. Yeah. I was like, drug me! I was in the trauma room. Drug me! <laughs> so I've I never been such a plane like that before. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think I've ever had really that's even, pain. That's even when I got into a car accident and I hit the top of the, the, the roof, cracked my head open. I had like six, okay. six stitches. Okay, we're going to have to talk about all of these things in story times. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> oh, um, when my cousin hit me with the mug over here, looking at Scar. <laughs> Shout out to my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I still gave him the business. You beat him up? Of course. Which cousin? I don't know expose him. It's either one or two. Yes. Andy or <laughs> Zach. <laughs> the favorite cousins. The it's like what is this? A love hate dysfunctional relationship? Nah, Y'all beat each was, other up and then that, that's story time too. We and talk be, about all my scars. And then be the best story, friend. Story time scars. Talk about his scars. I like that title. All my yeah. scars. You got any scars? I do. I have some scars. We talk, we talk about those too. Okay, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, number thirty-seven. Do you like to dance? Uh, I don't know. I used to be. I used to like to dance. They used to call me Happy Feet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Yeah. So you know, hip hop and reggae and um, merengue. They used to call you yeah, Happy Feet. Machata. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll hit it. I don't know about now. I haven't been. I've been. I haven't been in those, those dance floors for for a while. So we'll see. I'm gonna say no. I dancing was never really my thing. You pop it, drop it, lock it. Sometimes you know. Yeah, but it's never been my thing. It's <laughs> always gave me more anxiety than joy. Um, number thirty-eight. Do you like camping? I've never been camping. Uh, not really camping. Like with the whole tent thing, whatever. I've been to the Everglades. Uh, and then they had like. RVs there and stuff, but then count. We just stay over there. Yeah, I feel like I camped in the cabin, and then when I was in the military, we have done some exercises where we stayed in tents. And, and I did go to the Poconos too. We had a cabin, but I don't feel like that's camping. Yeah, but I never. Yeah, you're right. I never feel like I really had a true camping experience outside of like being in a cabin. Would you ever go camping? Doing camps. I would. I will go camping with you with them. Because other than that, I'm not into rustics. I don't like being cold. Could I bring a shotgun with me? I don't like being cold and uncomfortable. No, you don't what have a license it? for a shotgun. I don't like being cold, uncomfortable, or, or dirty. So I don't get a license. 
Quick. And I remember one time when we were going camping and we were staying in a cabin, but it was like all rainy. It just felt icky. And you had to go in them little nasty showers and take your group shower. Yeah. You know. This next question is yes for her. Number 39, are you weird? <laughs> She's weird. Am I? Yes. How am I weird? It's like, like she has to do something. Like, she gets bored easily. How's Sometimes that weird? She goes jump on her games on her phone. She's How doing is words. that weird? It's like, but she constantly, you constantly do that though. I feel like this was like a defunction. <laughs> I don't want to die. No sue or anything, but yes. Oh, you don't want to diagnose me. More like, do you think it's more like ADHD, ADD, like attention deficit disorder, where I can't do one thing at one point, I got to keep switching around because nothing holds my attention for one long period of time? I think so. You like. But I be getting it in though, don't I? <laughs> I be making it happen. Yeah. What about me? No, you're not weird. Okay. And I'm not weird either. Okay? <laughs> you just accept it. You just accept it. I did it not accept you that. You just diagnosed yourself. <laughs> no, because I do think I have a touch of AD, ADHD. I do think I have a touch of it. I I, I have extreme coping mechanisms. I've been like this my whole life. Like I could never sit there and, not do and I had to do different exercises to trick my mind into receiving, you know, anyways. Yeah. Huh? Maybe I could. I could start doing that. Yeah, but I've been I've been doing it since school. Right. Yeah, I always knew what I needed. Um. Yeah. So no, I'm not weird. You're not weird. You think you're weird? Because when I think I weird, party me. I when I th well, I think everybody has some weird tendencies. Yes. But when I think weird, I'm thinking um more like social misfit, more like you know the things that makes you say, hmm, like you just really don't understand. Like somebody whose mind just works so differently. It's like, like Basquiat. I don't know. Yeah, so that's what I think. And then number 40 says to tag six friends. And this challenge, this tag is so old. I really feel like everybody pretty much has done it. So I don't have anybody I want to tag. So I'm going to say this, <laughs> if you are watching this and you have not done this tag, it's really easy. I'm going to put the questions in the description below. Go ahead, tag yourself, let us know, tag us some way, and we will check you out and we will write you in our description once you let us know that you've done this because of our video. And then let us know which story time you want to have first from this man's tragic life. Beautiful. It brought me to you. I had to go through all these scars and bruises and, and situations and issues Baby, just to open, be here. Open your eyes. Just to be here with you. No, open so we can have a thumbnail. All right. <laughs> I can't get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking